I didn't start the store thinking I'm Mexican and I want to start a running store. It, if I never mentioned my identity or race, it would still be a badass store. And, <laughs> and you know, I was at one of our major brands, Retail Summit. About 75 other retailers were in attendance. I was the only person of color in the room on the floor with all of the other retailers. The entire room was white. Like that moment racialized the work that I'm doing. My name is Victor Diaz. I'm the owner of Renegade Running in Oakland, California. Oakland is such a, it's a beautiful community for sure. I and mean, there's a really nice blend of perspectives and experiences in Oakland. After opening the shop and realizing that my lived experiences allowed me to be more relatable to the community that we're serving, I feel blessed to have the background that I have. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, man, I was born into an activist neighborhood, you know? Out loud, you mean, reading? Oh, okay. So, uh, I gotta maybe say on this side, because I can't, the sun's in my, yeah. In order to move onward into the future, you must know about your past. In order to desire anything, you must ask yourself, what do I want to do for my familia? So I think seeing where my dad is now helps me become a better man, knowing he got kicked out of high school, English wasn't his first language, not having a father figure. High school in San Jose was just a place of like low expectations. In schools, we weren't allowed to speak Spanish, we weren't allowed to show like pride in our culture. I was getting in fights. I started playing football. One of the football teams that I played on, it was called the Renegades. What we took pride in was that these were like native names that like represented our indigenous connectivity. With 300 yards to go, Silva catches and passes for Around this exact same time, marathoners from Mexico were emerging on the running scene in the US. And they were like brown and beautiful and strong. So I just thought, Fuck it, like that'll be me. Like that's what I'll do, you know? So there was this re-emergence, but with pride this time. I mean, I was kind of like thinking, how might I be something better than I am? So I just started running. Once I went back to school in my early 20s, I started to learn more about the conditions that created not only circumstances for me, but for a lot of brown kids, black kids. It wasn't me personally that was screwed up. And I started to feel a greater purpose to figure out what those things were and how they were impacting communities. But then I had the audacity to think I could learn more about those systems and actually enter into it and just fuck it up. There was an immediate ground swell of people that said, like, we have to get the doors open. We're gonna head out to Webster and we'll do our thing and warm up and drills and we'll head out, okay? First time people? Yay, welcome. Yay. Tell us your name and your zodiac sign. <laughs> our Sunday community runs are open to everyone. They're designed for everyone. We wanna be really intentional that everyone that shows up is seen. You'll feel the love the moment you step in, the warmth, the greeting, the hi, the hugs. They have created such a beautiful community to support people of color like myself. He's really good at creating a comfortable, safe space for people. What I saw in Victor was just his ability to really bring community together, bring people of color into the space. He was a role model for me. As a black person, as a person of color, I don't see a lot of that in the running community, but I see a lot of that here, and I want to contribute to that. There was a lot of no's along the way. You go into a bank and they're like, no. You talk to people about investments, they're like, no. 
I mean, it's not the model. I'm not the person. I don't have the credit score. If you check all those boxes, then you kind of just skate right in, you know? Um, and I didn't check any of those boxes. And all that's happening while the running industry is talking about diversity. And yet, from my perspective, it was like from vanilla to like French vanilla. So this idea around self-sufficiency is what spoke to me loudest, of building something for my community that we built the way we would want to build it. It feels good to know that we're making a difference. People love and care for us in the same way that we love and care for the community. It lets you know that we're doing a lot more than selling shoes. That's a beautiful experience. I'm very proud of my dad. I tell my friends, like, he opened the running store, he just got a call from this CEO, he just got these shoes shipped to him, and they're like, oh my God, your dad's so cool, I wish that could be me. It was New Ink. New Ink, yeah, today. I turned 18 and got a gift for myself. <laughs> my dream is to race in Europe, and he supports me 110%, because I can see he never had a mentor, he never had a coach helping him along the way. There's this perception that kids need their parents less as they get older. And I have the reverse thinking. I, I think that parents play a much more important role as kids transition out of teenage life and into early adulthood. I think that's kind of my North Star. You know, that's the thing that shapes my character. <laughs> yeah, making sure that the two young people in my life, you know, that they continue to want me in their lives, I guess. <laughs> yeah. So it's like, I gotta earn that space now. Like, that's what it feels like. And in many ways, that's what it feels like in the store, you know? Just because you came in for shoes doesn't mean that, like, you have to or should listen to anything that I say, right? Okay, we're gonna head out to Webster and we'll do our thing and warm up and drills and we'll head out, okay? Growing up in the communities I grew up in, it was a beautiful community. But when you leave that neighborhood, you realize, oh, that's the community that's on TV. That's the community people say don't go to. Running was kind of the conduit. It helped me get to that next place. But there was a bigger purpose beyond running that I discovered after that. Right now, running feels like family. You can show up, be out of shape, family will joke with you and laugh with you, but then they'll run next to you, you know, or they'll be there when you're done or, or you'll wait for them if they're behind you. I'm motivated on the hope and possibility of making something to reach more people, to serve more people. We've gotta be out, we gotta be present, we gotta be willing to listen to what's happening in the community, what are the root causes of some of the issues going on in our city. What he's been able to do at Renegade has never happened before, has never happened since, probably will never fucking happen again. One of Victor's superpowers is his ability to bring the right people together at the right time. I'm not surprised that the store has been as successful as it is because, you know, it's Victor. Go away.